South Korea and the United States have started preliminary training ahead of their annual summertime military drills slated to begin next Monday. The drills are considered vital to maintaining combined readiness as well as creating the conditions for the envisioned transfer of wartime operational control from Washington to Seoul. Kim ji yeon reports. The militaries of South Korea and the U.S. started their preliminary training for their annual summertime drill starting Tuesday. The drill called the Crisis Management Staff Training is aimed at preventing the expansion of conflict or terror into an outright war. This year, South Korean military sources say it's led by its Joint Chiefs of Staff for the course of four days. The actual military drills, called the Combined Command Post Training, or CCPT for short, will be carried out starting next Monday until August 26. However, Seoul's Defense Ministry reiterated to say that details regarding the exercise are still being discussed. The South Korea-U.S. joint military exercises are being considered regarding various factors, including maintaining combined readiness amid the COVID-19 pandemic, fostering conditions conducive for the envisioned OPCON transfer, as well as supporting diplomatic efforts for the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula and establishment of everlasting peace. Currently, the combined drills duration, volume and method are being decided by the two countries. The CCPT is made up of computer simulations and is led by the Combined Forces Command Commander, U.S. Army General Paula Kamara, who took office last month. The militaries of South Korea and the U.S. plan to go public and provide details, including the volume and duration of their joint drill to North Korea, as is customary, right before the actual drill starts next Monday. They'll highlight that the exercises are defensive in nature. Kim Ji-yeon, Arirang News.